y'all this has to be the most important important tip like i wish someone told me this before i went to jamaica because it was real it was <sighs> tip number six guys welcome back to my channel today's video is gonna wrap up my jamaica vlog series and it's gonna be about some important tips you should know before you travel to jamaica stay tuned okay so before i get started let's just do some housekeeping if you have not already subscribed to my channel kindly go hit that subscribe button make sure you thumbs it up if you love it and comment down below about any questions you have and to all my returning subscribers, thank you guys so much. Welcome back. I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for your support. And just stay tuned for more videos I have coming up, okay? Also, I wanted to add that if you have not already checked out my Jamaica vlog videos, um, kind of go do so. Um, I think they're really interesting because um, in my videos, I shared like things you can do in Jamaica, what to do, and you know, just my experience there. So kindly go check it out if you have not already checked it out and let's get started. Hey guys, so if you see me looking down, it's because I wrote out some main points so I don't go off on a tangent like I can do sometimes. So I wanted to make sure this video is straightforward, straight to the point and quick and direct, okay? So let's get started. Tip number one, if you're coming from the United States, um, do not exchange your money at the airport unless you absolutely have to or unless you're just exchanging a small amount, okay? Here's why, I had to learn this the hard way. When you first come into the airport, you're gonna see people telling you, oh, exchange your money here, exchange your money here, all that good stuff. But it's like, it's kind of pointless because what happened to me was that I exchanged a good amount of money and um, they're gonna take off commission. The exchange rate is already higher at the airport. And it's like, the dollar bill is worth more, the American dollar bill is worth more than Jamaican dollars. So it's like, you're better off using it there. Like, at first, I didn't know that you can use American dollars wherever you go, and that was, like, why I kind of exchanged more money than I, I was supposed to. And um, so, basically, you can use American dollar. Like, if you're going to be in a tourist area, like Montego Bay or Cucho Rios, like, you can use the American dollar, and it goes a long way. But when you exchange it, it's like, you're kind of losing because they take all that money out, commission all that stuff to, for you to exchange the money. And then, for example, if I'm trying to buy like, um, you know, a pair of scissors right now, right? And that scissors costs seven US dollars. You already lost money from the exchange. Now you're gonna pay with more Jamaican dollars. So you end up honestly like paying with Jamaican dollars, but it's like you might end up paying, if you convert that, you might, you might have just ended up paying like $12 or $10 for that same pen. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's just, you're just better off really like using American dollars or using your card, honestly, because um, at least, you know, um, you get more bang for your buck and you, uh, you know, it goes a longer way, if that makes sense. And um, I will only advise it if you're like, if you know you're gonna visit like the villages or the, um, the markets and stuff like that and you know you just want to just get it over with and you don't mind you know yeah but honestly if you really don't you really don't have to if you don't want to um even the tips like they take tips in dollar bills as well so you can just always have a whole bunch of dollar bills with you so this goes on to my next tip make sure you carry dollar bills with you because um just carry a whole bunch with you just because you're gonna be tipping 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 all the time and honestly it's it was kind of like interesting just to see like the jamaicans they're very upfront with the tipping like you can you can get a taxi ride they're already telling you as you're about to get into the thing like make sure you tip your driver make sure you tip your driver all that stuff like um when you're at the resort like even though you, it's like a all-inclusive resort i was at uh what they will do is that they will uh when you go to the buffet kind of places they'll come ask you do you want a drink like the service and stuff they'll you know bring drinks for you i mean you can just sometimes you can just actually walk and go do it yourself but they you know they offer and stuff like that and you know you're like oh okay after they do stuff like that um you know uh it's just 
they kind of sometimes expect you to tip them and stuff like that. And even when you go on excursions and stuff, y'all, like, they are very upfront. That's one thing. I, you know, I give them credit because they hustle for that tip. You know, they are very friendly people. They go the extra mile. They make sure you have a good time. They make sure that they're very pleasant with the way they execute stuff. So, um, yeah, you just sometimes, you feel guilty not tipping. So, it's just a good thing just to carry some some spare cash, spare change with you so that you can go ahead and do some tipping. It's not mandatory, but it's it's kind of helpful, you know. So my next um, tip is make sure you don't leave your stuff around. Like, y'all, my friend's GoPro got stolen. I think it was when we went to the uh, horse and swim excursion. Mind you, the whole day, she had it around her neck in her, in her thing, right? But when we were trying to go into the water later on, she dropped it somewhere and I thought she put it in her, we thought she put it in her locker, but then again, the locker doesn't, we didn't buy the one with the lock. So maybe it was in there and it got taken away or maybe she dropped it somewhere else and thought she put it in her locker. But whatever the case was, just make sure you keep your stuff with you because it got stolen and we searched everywhere. We asked questions, nada, like, phew. And I think this is this should be a tip for like anywhere you go, regardless of if it's Jamaica or wherever. It's just good to just keep your stuff with you because yeah, people can just like swipe. They don't care how much you bought that stuff for. They don't care, um, you know, stuff like that. And you know, you just can't trust everyone around you, even though you feel like, oh, you know what? They're tourists who just like me. No, like still, I think it could be anybody. Like it doesn't matter where you are. Um, just make sure you keep your stuff with you. What I did was that I made sure I had like the the phone case, the water, the what, how, what do we call it? Like the transparent, like um phone case that goes around your neck that's why i put my phone and i had a fanny pack on that's why i put my money and that fanny pack stayed with me every time i don't care if i'm going to the water it was around my waist like you know um i made sure i had my fanny pack and made sure my stuff was secured and yep right next to me um so yeah that's that was kind of like sad you know because you know we had a great time and we ended up like Spending the rest of the time there just looking for a GoPro. Um, so I'm gonna go on to tip number four. Tip number four. Make sure you carry your um, ID with you, especially when you go out to excursions. Um, here's why, because I remember when I was when I went we went to the um, ATV excursion and um, there was a certain lady, she didn't have her driver's license and yeah, she wasn't able to ride the ATV. She had to sit out. And um, they were actually gonna let her slide if she had a picture of it, but she still didn't have that either. So yeah, just make sure you carry those things with you or at least have a picture of them just so that, you know, like, you know, when, they, when there's restrictions and stuff like that, you have your ID there to like, you know, show your age and all that good stuff. Tip number five. Um, make sure you know how to bargain or make sure you know when you're being like what's that word <sighs> i can't think of the word but basically just know you just make sure you need to know how to bargain because here's why if they know if in certain places like not in certain places most places if they know you're a tourist that price is going up like i i can understand the places in the airport or the resort prices or um you know, places you go for excursion, the price is there, whatever. But when you go to like other store, for example, let me tell you just out my story. Um, we were on our way going to like swim with the dolphins. Um, and it was like, we live, our resort was in Montego Bay and this was in Ocho, the swim with the dolphins was in Ocho Rios. So it was more like, like an hour plus drive. And um, during that time we stopped like twice and you know, to pee and, you know, all that good stuff and, you know, get some snacks and stuff like that. And we stopped at some, uh, a few stores and, um, yeah, y'all, like something that I was going to, something I was going to pay in my resort, the same thing I was, I was going to pay my resort for $7. They were trying to charge me $30 for that same thing. Exactly the same, nothing different. And, um, later on I found out that is because like when they know you're a tourist, like, they're gonna shoot up that price because they think you got money. But 
they don't know that I got some African blood in me. Like we know how that goes. Like, so I was like, no. So, um, they ended up bringing down the price to $20 and I still didn't buy because you're still overpricing me. Like something I could get in America for a dollar, like what? Like anyways, so yeah, just know how to bargain and know when you're getting ripped off. Like just know when you're getting ripped off because it happens a lot. Um, they own you, you know, if someone will tell you, oh, I bought this for this price there and you're like, wait, I paid like four times the price for that. Anyways, um, going on to my next tip, tip number six, this, y'all, this has to be the most important, important tip. Like, I wish someone told me this before I went to Jamaica because it was real. It was <sighs> tip number six, six guys, make sure you stock up on bug spray, on mosquito spray. Like, it's the best thing you would do for yourself because, y'all, those mosquitoes there are vicious. They are ruthless. They don't care. They want to suck every blood in your body. Like, when I tell you, you can, I, can, I feel like I can do polka, I can um, play polka dots with my, with the kind of, like, mosquito bites I had on my legs. And it made me, like, a certain time I didn't want to come outside because I was just like, I'm not about to, like, they were having a beach party. We ran inside after, like, 30, 40, 30, 40 minutes because I was getting eaten up, you know? And um, so... Buck spray is very, mosquito spray is really important. It helps, you know, it helps. And um, I think like it's better to buy before you go there because the price of one there is a price you can get three or five bottles here, wherever you are, you know, that makes sense. So it's like, when you do the math, it's cheaper to buy it here because you could get, you could get it like at the dollar store or Walmart for like a few dollars. And over there, it's like, I, I forgot how much we paid for it, but it was, a good amount of dollars if i can remember clearly but yeah just buy it and just take it with you there um it's just the best thing you can do for yourself and um i think we went through like me and my friend we went through like two or three bottles in just five days five days mm, mm -mm. Yeah, I'm, having, I'm having flashbacks right now <laughs> like i'm having flashbacks like whoo y'all it was real it was real so I'm gonna move on to tip number seven. This is more of a personal tip for me. Uh, make sure you get out a few days to just go out to the countryside, to the villages, to the markets. Um, I think, I love my Jamaica trip. I love, you know, the, my resort, um, my, um, the excursions I did, but if I can go over, go back and do it over, if I go back next time, um, one thing I would definitely love to do is definitely take some time out to actually go into the villages, just to experience more of the culture. I feel like I was starting up by, starting up by tourists my whole trip. Like, I it was fun, but like I didn't get the whole like experience, if that makes sense. And um, I would say definitely like try to go to the countryside. Like I think next time I go there, I'll definitely definitely not. Um, do a resort the next time I go there I'll probably just uh rent out of someone's place or Airbnb or whatever they have there um and go into Kingston go to the marketplace you know just like live like day-to-day -day life if that makes sense um to me um so just because um just being our uh, five days there was fun but it's like I was with Americans the whole time like Americans and people from Europe and a few people from like Latin America um like same thing here you know you get it so it's like i felt like you know next time i go there i'll definitely try to like go with you know go stay in those areas where like people live like normal day-to-day -day life if that makes sense um and my final tip for you guys is make sure you have fun make sure you have fun you if you're gonna be stay at a resort make sure you you actually ex experience your the great things your resort had to offer like i would say like me and my friend we actually didn't even enjoy our resort until like day number five i think that day we we're supposed to go parasailing and we we're like bruh we've been going to excursions every day and i'm tired like let's actually chill today and it was actually the best decision we ever made because we realized that wow like 
life in the resort is actually lit too you know like not just at nighttime because normally we'll go to excursions and come back at nighttime for like the things they have during nighttime and sometimes they'll have beach parties karaoke night reggae night like different things they do throughout the um each, each day at the resort so i didn't even think it was going to be like lively during the day but y'all it was lit like go check out my um my uh jamaica vlogs for you know more depth experience but yeah, it was actually really nice. Like they had like, you know, just chilling by the poolside. They had like really like, you know, water aerobics here. They had like a pool, a day party, pool party. Like it was just like different things going on. And I was like, wow, okay, well, there was a, um, they had like boats come take people on like a party cruise just around on the same beach where like, you know, a resort was on. I was like, Hmm, they had like games going people were playing games on the beach which is really nice and i feel like we're like dang like we should we should actually like you know actually spend some more time also on our resort because you pay money for it you know why not so i think that's something i would definitely say enjoy resort um if you're not on the resort enjoy like the excursions you're doing make sure you take you make um you go out you go ahead and take chances you know do things you have never done before i think me being a Jamaican, that was my first time I went zipline, I went ATV, and I went swimming with dolphins, and it made me like, oh my god, like I just want to travel some more. <sighs> I need Corona to be over so that I can do, I can make some trips because I'm tired, I'm hungry, I am going through withdrawals from my vacations I've had, and I just want to travel some more. So. Anyways, that concludes my tips, important tips to know before you travel to Jamaica. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys. Stay tuned for more videos I have coming up. I'm going to be um, doing also, so putting out some videos out there about my trip to Paris. So stay tuned for that. It was exciting. I'm so glad I went right before this whole Corona stuff. Um, we're in May right now. I went like in January. I have a lot of tips about that. The best time to go to Europe is actually January, February, you know, and because of the price, everything is less touristy and it's just, it's just great. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys my experience. So make sure you subscribe and your notification bell is on so you can, you know, stay in the loop. Okay. So yeah, that concludes everything. Thanks for watching and see you guys in my next video. Bye.